Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. So this week's video is actually inspired by one of the questions that one of you guys asked me in last week's Q&A video. Sherilyn Hutzel, how much time do you spend weekly caring for your reptiles? Any time-saving hacks or tricks you can share? Contrary to what it looks like, reptile care doesn't take up an insane amount of time, it actually doesn't have to be super time consuming. I am a very busy person other than me having four kids and two dogs and also writing and recording and editing all of these YouTube videos. I also go to the gym every day wearing a mask of course and I go hiking and me and Reptilian Den go on dates and I have a very very busy life. I try my best to minimize the amount of time that I am actually caring for my animals while of course still taking optimal care of them so I thought I'd make a video about it. Before we get started this video is sponsored by iHeartGecko so make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out all about this awesome company. Let's get started. So the first one is to feed all of your animals at the same time. I feed all of my diurnal animals at the same time and all of my nocturnal animals at the same time. If you try to spread this out during the day yes it's going to take up less time at that moment but then it's gonna feel like you're taking care of animals all day along those same lines spot clean everything at once again if you are just carrying around a roll of napkins and a Walmart bag and going through each tank and spot cleaning then it's gonna be a lot faster than trying to pick up the poop and waste of that animal as you see it if you just set a time to do that during the day you can just do it once a day and get it done then just do it again that same time tomorrow have a large water bottle that you already have dechlorinated to refill water dishes. Now obviously if your animal's water dish is dirty and needs to be thoroughly cleaned then do that but when that isn't the case you can just refill those dishes as you see them and you're not having to pull the dish out take it to the sink fill it up dechlorinate it and all that you're just carrying around a little water bottle to fill it up. This is what I use to do this. They are super cheap on Amazon and I will try to remember to leave that link down below but something like this is going to make nighttime watering of animals so convenient and so fast. A pump spray bottle. This is one that my husband mentioned in that Q&A video which is very much a huge time saver for your humidity loving animals. Spraying down an entire tank with a pump sprayer is going to take a lot less time than trying to use a just handheld water bottle because it is pressurized spraying so you can just kind of soak it all down at once instead of constantly trying to get little sprays out and usually these water bottles are a gallon of water and so you're not having to refill between spraying down tanks if you have multiple animals. Timer outlets are one of my favorite tips because this saves so much time and for someone like me who has ADD and cannot remember to do things on time ever, having your lights turn on and off by themselves every morning and night, it is so much more convenient and it's one less thing that I have to worry about every day. There are all different kinds of these and I use all different kinds of these. I have the ZooMed ones with multiple plugs on my reptile shelf. I have the ZooMed ones with one plug. I have the cheap Walmart ones. I have a cheap Amazon one. I have Amazon smart plugs and a another brand of smart plug from Amazon that I can just set the timer in my phone to do, but it doesn't really matter what kind you use. It saves time. Having your cleaning solutions pre-mixed in a water bottle. This is only going to apply for people that are using solutions that have to be mixed, like the ones that I use. But if you're using something like Flukers, obviously you don't have to pre-mix them. The cleaning solutions that I use, I keep them pre-mixed in a water bottle. They are super cool cleaners because they don't have to be thoroughly rinsed out. They come from BeardDragon.co and I highly recommend these cleaners. They are fantastic. This one obviously is gonna apply to everyone, but if it applies to you, it's gonna save time to just keep a labeled water bottle labeled reptile cleaning solution and keep it pre-mixed. Deep cleaning reptiles tanks that have loose substrate all at one time. This is another thing that applies if you have a bunch of animals and it's something that I do because even though it's taking more time at that time to clean a bunch of tanks at once, 
Next, if I go ahead and clean out my blue tongue skink and both of my ball pythons enclosures at one time, then I only have to make one giant batch of their substrate in a giant Sterilite bin. It makes it a lot easier, especially when you're using dehydrated substrates like the compacted Eco Earth or the Pro Coco. You are expanding it all at once. And when I inevitably make a mess spilling things on my carpet, I'm only having to vacuum all that up one time instead of over and over again. Just something else that saves me time. And if you don't want to have to change out substrates once a month, bioactive tanks are such an amazing time saver because you don't have to clean them. You set them up and as long as your cleanup crew is good, you don't have to clean them every now and then maybe like two or three times since I've set up the tank I have put a little extra topsoil on Dexter's plants or Goliath's plants just to give them a little bit more nutrients but other than that it's good everything is growing good the wastes are constantly being cleaned up that is a huge time saver because cleaning tanks takes time and I don't have to do that and it's fantastic. And the animals are so much happier in tanks with real plants, in my opinion, than ones with fake plants. So it's a win-win for me and the animals. If you are feeding something that eats vegetables, pre-chop your vegetables. You could even make whole meal prep salads for things like bearded dragons if you wanted to where you could take little tupperwares and chop up the veggies and chop up the leafy greens and butternut squash and bell peppers or whatever you want to put in the salad so that way you can just dump them in there every day instead of having to pull out a cutting board and grind up butternut squash and chop up collard greens and do all of this every day you can just meal prep it for them and that's going to save you a lot of time too because chopping up vegetables every single day becomes a lot very fast. And this also applies to things like crested geckos, garo geckos. You can pre-prepare their food, their penji or their apashi or whatever. This is going to save you a little bit of extra time at nighttime instead of having to mix those bowls up. You can prepare that food in the little travel shampoo bottles that you get from Walmart, Target, wherever. And that way at night, you just open up the refrigerator, you squirt some of that food into their bowl and that's it. Instead of having to scoop out food and put the water in there, and mix it up all that just saves you a couple extra seconds and the last one is temperature guns these are in my opinion a necessity anyway but they are going to make measuring the temperature very quickly a lot more easier because you point the temperature gun at the spot you want to measure and it gives you an instant readout so if you wanted to go through and just double check all of your animals make sure all the heat mats or whatever are doing good you just go through and click 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 and you have all the temperature readouts and it is fantastic instant and saves so much time overall it really doesn't take a super lot of time just on a normal day-to-day -day basis to care for reptiles again when you start getting into having to deep clean those tanks that's obviously going to take a lot of extra time that's where those bioactives are going to come in handy but that is it hopefully i had some sort of helpful tip in here for you as I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by iHeartGeckos. iHeartGeckos is such an awesome company that makes conversion kits for old aquariums that you may have laying around. And what those conversion kits do is allow you to take those old aquariums and turn them into front opening tanks for your arboreal species. They also have some that open horizontally, so you have a front opening horizontal tank for terrestrial species. These conversion kits are awesome because they provide a very inexpensive way to make a very solid tank for those animals instead of having to go out and buy like exoterras and things like that that can get very pricey very quickly mine over here that houses my girl gecko goliath has been set up for over a year now and it's been fantastic the silicone has held up i haven't had to retouch anything and i get into her tank every single night to spray it down and everything works great i absolutely love them and i love this company so much if you happen to order one of these make sure to put house reptiles in the how did you hear about us box so that way they know that you guys are coming from here thank you so much to our geckos for sponsoring this video as always if you have not already please feel free to follow 
follow me on all the socials and like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. This week's Instagram shout out goes to Dusty Garrett 1980 for following me on Instagram and going through and liking a whole bunch of my stuff. And this week's subscriber shout out goes to Axeman for always being super supportive and commenting on so many of my videos. Thank you guys both so much. You are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. It is actually, it actually can be, it doesn't have to be. So, so first of all, the pump, pump sprayers. And if you spit everywhere, and if you don't want to, what are you laughing at? Pangea or what's the other one? Pangea, Pangea and, okay, thanks. You're cute. Thank you. My ears are red. Is that red? Huh. I don't think my migraine likes this light.